Um, so I'm uh, Sean Cribs. I work at Basho Technologies, um, and we make REOC, which is a distributed fault tolerant key value database, um, and has a bunch of nice extras on it, um, and it's really fun to work on. So. Um, I'm here to talk about uh, the problems that creep up when you use a large data system, um, issues around consistency. And so um, my, my talk here is about uh, eventually consistent data types, so uh, data structures that survive uh, inconsistencies from, uh, from the point of you know, having your, your cluster partitioned down the middle or just things taking a long time to get around. Um, so that's that's what I'm I'm talking about. Some of the things I'm working on. For non-developers, it means that uh, you can build a big uh, distributed system with data all around it, and um, and you don't have to have those you know traditional guarantees that relational databases will require uh, of your system. You can uh, grow in an organic way. Um, and scale linearly, uh, but also uh, maintain some sanity for your developers. For developer, it means that you don't have to figure out how to do this hard stuff yourself. There's uh, mathematical computer science approaches, there's a rigorous approach behind uh, developing these data types uh, that means that all you have to do is implement the algorithm, you don't have to figure it out. So I think um, people think of big data, and I kind of agree with these two definitions, as either you have a lot of things that you want to analyze later, or you have so much data you don't know what to do with it. Um, and uh, for REOC's use case in that, in that space, we like to think of it as uh, mission critical data. So a, a great example of how REOC is being used is uh, in the Danish health system for uh, prescription cards. All of the uh, every Danish citizen has a prescription card, and uh, when they go, you know, uh, to the to the doctor, that doctor can check what other prescriptions have other doctors prescribed you, um, and all of that data is stored in REOC and replicated three ways around uh, all around Denmark. So uh, we like we like to think of it as most critical data should be in REOC. Uh, so, in, in addition to that really critical data, uh, we have, you know, some really large um, uh, startups uh, using uh, REOC. So, uh, great example is Voxer. It's this walkie-talkie app. You've got, you know, you can do text and audio and pictures and send them to your friends. They store all of that multimedia in a huge REOC cluster. Um, there's also bump technologies, which is, you know, you pull out your phone and you use the accelerometer and bump it against your friend and you can, like, share contact information and they store all those individual communications in REOC. Um, so we have a, a decent uptick in the, the mobile space, um, as well as uh, the, some more traditional enterprises where, uh, you know, uh, extreme availability of the data and uh, meaning that you won't lose it especially. Uh, is, is where we, we see uptick. So, uh, I think that beyond the, the, the peace of mind that React gives you about your data being available, um, it also gives your system administrators, your operations people, peace of mind. Uh, it's incredibly easy to deploy. Um, we actually had uh, one user of the open source version of REOC uh, have a node get turned off, like somebody turned off the machine, and they didn't even notice um, because they still had two machines in their cluster available. So um, in, in terms of the, the, the peace of mind that if you have a serious problem, you can probably wait until the morning to get up and fix it when you're feeling fresh, not in the middle of the night. Um, and and just the the... the the focus that we have on um, making sure that uh, the system as a whole is stable as well as the individual machines and, and focus, we, we do focus on performance um, but our, our, our most uh, strong focus is reliability. So 
how it distinguishes from other uh, systems in the space is really that um, some systems trade off reliability for performance, and we don't feel that that's a reasonable trade off. Uh, that has happened less. Most of the stuff is uh, consumer applications or inside enterprises, um, but we have a number of, of uh, channel partners as well who um, who will you know support and sell Reoc on on uh, pre-made infrastructure and stuff like that. So. Oh, I I can't even begin to know. <laughs> An uh, interesting thing about our product being open source is a lot of people use it and we never hear about it because they don't have a problem. Um, so uh, knowing, uh, knowing what everybody is working on uh, is, is, is a little bit harder than just when people come and say, oh, we're, we're using React and we're really happy with it. Um, but uh, I, I would say mobile is probably our, our most exciting one right now. My future plans are uh, looking into other products that can be built with the same framework we built React on. Um, we have uh, the beginning of a product uh, called React Pipe, which powers our MapReduce system. We have a query system on top of uh, the key value store, and um, and it lets you it could let you do things like real time queries, continuous queries, um, where you just receive a stream of events and process them around the cluster and kind of a distributed way, which is really cool. Uh, we're also, uh, we have, in addition to the key value store, there's a search product that we want to build out more. I'm really excited about uh, the possibilities of how we can improve that um, and have a, a compelling alternative to something like uh, Elasticsearch. Um, but there's also this, the, what I'm giving my talk on, um, you can do in your client side in your application, you can create these eventually consistent data types, but it's actually more efficient to provide them on the server side. So uh, we're looking at uh, within the next year or two putting that in there too. Um, we're happy to accept uh, resumes from developers. Um, we actually, our, our entire technical support team are also developers, and so uh, we provide the highest quality technical support, um, and I often say that they know more about our product than the engineers do. Um, but we're, we're always accepting developers. Um, we have uh, lots of opportunities for uh, people who want to sell Reoc um, to do that. Uh, and also, uh, you know, we're, for customers, we're looking for anybody who wants a reliable, linear, scalable data store and come talk to us. We'd love to hear from you.